Yo, what is going on, my friends? Welcome back to yet another video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend so far, my friends. As always, a little request from me to you guys. If you haven't joined the squad yet, if you haven't subscribed, join us. We're on the road to 170,000 subscribers. Join us, my friends. Slap that like button as well while you are at it. Today, we are looking at the pure poetry. This obviously showed up in my Matador video from a few days ago. And I asked you guys in that video if you wanted to see a video on this weapon. And you all said yes. And so here it is. Have a quick look at my role. It is Fluted Barrel, Ricochet Rounds, Outlaw, Eye of the Storm, Vanguard Vindication, and Arrange Masterwork. Outlaw gives you fantastic reload, and this weapon has terrible reload. Eye of the Storm, actually really, really nice on this gun as well with the accuracy and handling. Then Ricochet, best in slot. Fluted Barrel, very good for this weapon since it has terrible base handling. Range Masterwork as well. One weakness of this weapon would be 7 in the mag, but we do have Outlaw for that. Now, I've got to be honest with you guys. Using this weapon in PvP has not been easy because I'm telling you, at the moment in PvP, you come up against the likes of this. And this. It's not easy out here, my friends. Let me tell you, the PvP is in, in quite the state. But regardless of that, we've got some really juicy content coming up for you guys. I managed to get a really, really sweaty match of Rumble in which no one was using any insanely cheesy weapons. So we're going to start off with that. Hope you guys enjoy it. As always, my friends, don't forget to slap that like button and let's get into the gameplay. All right, here we go, my friends. We are on Radiant Cliffs. Honestly, not the worst map in the world for this weapon. The Pure Poetry 120 RPM Strike Hand Cannon. Outlaw Eye of the Storm. I'm sure I've already showed you the roll at this point in the video. So let's get in there right now. Bing bang. Hit him with the Matador. Try and clean him up. Let's go. This is actually kind of similar to the Matador video, right? You guys saw me using the Matador and this hand can together. The same sort of principle applies. Let's get in there. We're going to make this work. This is the kind of range you can fight out here. Hitting nice headshot damage. Bang. This gun, it's satisfying. And that is important to me. It has that satisfaction factor. You know, that chunky hake sound. The chunky feeling of every bullet hitting. The recoil of the gun, we've got a guy aping us here, I think. He is coming in for the ape. We're going to see that coming, though, with the hit and the swap. This is how you need to use this weapon if you're going to survive. Use the chunk damage. It's going to hit a lot of... Whoa, what? Where the... Am I blind? That guy was not on the radar. That guy... Oh, okay, I'm absolutely screwed here. I did not see that guy on the radar. He's using an iron banner weapon or something. I don't have time to check, but wasn't on the radar but yeah whatever you do if you're using a 120 hand cannon you need to severely complement it with your other weapon yo the matador hit in the air it's a christmas miracle thank you santa so it's it's not easy man but it can work that big damage to hit that guy oh the wall saved me let's see let's see will the shoddy bless me yo i think i've been a good boy man santa didn't give me ae for christmas right there let's go ah oh, somebody took that kill Oh, oh, okay. Let's get that shorty kill. We've got a guy behind us. Can we win that? Is he finding someone else? Nice. That sort of range right there. Nice and reliable. No. Oh, okay, that was just really laggy. All right, screw it. Let's just go in. Oh, he's coming for me. He wants that shorty kill. Oh, somebody else came in. Go on, Matador. Guys, if you want to see everything about this Matador, that video is already on the channel two days ago. Get that guy. Jump over the... Ooh, we like that. Spicy jump over the Black Talon. Love it. Get that grenade on him. He's going to slide right into that. Let's just bubble though because, you know. Oh. Oh, okay, I'm actually throwing here so hard. <laughs> I, listen, my brain... like Guys, I don't want to hear it. My brain is fried from all the Telestos I've been fighting. Absolutely fried. Let's get this. Let's get this. Come on. Peek me. Bang. I had a storm doing some work. Crazy concept. Ah, oh, we got some heavy now. Time for some free kills. Let's go. Two kills in the bag. Let's get this guy as well. Oh, he's aping. I don't think so, but threat detector on the matador. Again, if you do put like two shots into someone with this hand cannon and they try to push you, that is how you make your shotgun work. That is how you make your shotgun feel good, you know, by by combining it with your other gun properly. Oh, let's go for the cheeky double melee. All right. Okay, there's everybody showing up here. Let's bounce this nade. He's going to run right into that. Bang. That was a juicy little grenade. We got some momentum in this match. Ah, but not... <laughs> The sidearm once again. And we'll clean that kill up. And there is a cheeky little dub. Man, that lobby was an absolute sweat fest. But hey, like I said, there wasn't a massive amount of cheese in there. So we'll take it. 
point, we are on Rusted Lands. Another good map for this weapon, to be honest, with the size. It's nice and big. Let's get these hand cannon shots in on that guy. Crispy. Either Storm really makes this gun feel good when you start getting weak. Oh, he was invis with the... Ah, <laughs> oh, man, you have to be paying 110% attention, man, with all these little peeping Tom perverts out here just sitting there invisible waiting to ambush you. But anyway, like I was saying, this is a kind of gun where... Unless you've got a damage perk going, or you've got weapons of light, you're going to get into an extended fight with people. Oh, okay. I'm going to get frozen by cryoclasm and then shattered. <laughs> anyway, you got to watch out for that as well, I guess. So many things to watch out for in this game. My lordy lord, it is. It is something out here. But yeah, my point is... Hold on, let me just get this. He's going to run in. He's suppressed. Let's take that. Nice. Oh, another one. You get that outlaw reload, put some shots in him, go for the cleanup. Wow, he mapped me with that mind benders. Man, oh man, he mapped me. But yeah, I'm trying to say something here, but I can't because everyone's trying to kill me. And that is that you're going to activate Eye of the Storm in probably every single duel you're going to get into. That being said, don't expect to get into too many duels because players don't try to duel you in this game anymore. They simply try to cheese you. And you might think, oh, he's being salty about you know, X amount of X type of weapon. No, is this is the truth. Players do not engage you in a fight anymore. They they try to leverage whatever weapon or ability they have, open up with that and then get an easy kill. They don't step into outright weapon versus weapon jewels. You just don't see it. And if you do see it, they're probably sprinting at you with a sidearm or an SMG and it kind of invalidates, you know, the jewel because you can't beat those weapons up close, meaning you kind of just have to stay in the back. Let's get this kill. Let's get out of here. And that's what I mean. So sometimes it's going to be hard to use this gun. But if you do get into a gunfight with somebody, if you do, big if. Oh, can I get that shoddy kill? Oh, I didn't kill him, man. Okay, we got lucky there. Let's try and ape this guy as well. If you do get in a gunfight with somebody, Outlaw, Eye of the Storm is a great combo. You're going to get the reload for the next fight. Outlaw is obviously very, very good because this gun has such poor reload speed. And then Eye of the Storm is going to increase your accuracy and your handling as you inevitably take damage in the duel. And it does help a hell of a lot. Oh my god, I can't shoot. Wait, did he... I think his... Did his melee whiff and then he thought I was dead? I'm not sure what happened there. So yeah, I had a stone's fantastic on this gun. You kind of need a lot of help. The time to kill on this 120 hand cannon is very, very subpar. It's like a second TTK. And like I said, people just walk you down with a drang and kill you in half a second. So you've got to be smart. You've got to be clever. You have to use your other weapon. There's definitely plenty of matadoring going on. Because if I don't use my other gun, I'll get destroyed. Okay, we've got two, three, four headshots into him. Man, the chunkiness of this weapon, though. It feels great. The texture, you know? The chunkiness, the sweetness. I sound like Mark Weens all of a sudden. Oh, wow. That's what speed. I the storm. I'm ready for you. And let's go. Look at that. That was so nice. That was very, very nice. This gun, when it works, is brilliant. It's just it's not necessarily the easiest thing to make work. Maybe if I had another roll. Again, look at that. Very reliable. Very chunky. Let's wish for the shoddy here because... Ooh, it didn't do the job. But again, if I was outright fighting him with the hand cannon, chances are I still lose that. I need to leverage my special weapon. Otherwise, I'm in trouble. Get this invis poltergeist out of the way. Doing uh, doing a lot better in this match than the last one. But still getting some good gameplay with the hand cannon, which is what it's all about. It is definitely a nice weapon. If you're doing a lot of strikes, you're doing some GMs, you're doing whatever it might be, and you're in that playlist, whether it's you know just regular nightfalls, adept, GMs, whatever... Keep an eye on every time you get a pure poetry. This is something of a unique weapon. It's got a fantastic look, a fantastic sound, a very, very deep perk pull. So you could get just about any roll that you could imagine. Okay, GL versus GL, and we waste every GL shot that we have. He is just going to get away like that from my bubble. Very fortunate, very fortunate to survive. Oh, he comes back. He willingly comes back to his own death. <laughs> Come on, brother. It, it ain't safe out here, my friend. It ain't safe. It ain't safe at all. We've got weapons of light. Maybe we can end with a two tap on somebody. Okay, let's go back. Let's double dip. Since our weapons of light is going to run out in a minute. Let's get back in there. Juice me up. Juice me up. Let's go. Let's go. I absolutely love 120s when you get weapons of light active. Because it's just satisfying to hit that 100. 100. Oh, yes, indeed. Pure poetry, my friends. You guys asked for it. I delivered now you guys need to do me a favor and smash that like button if you still made it all the way to the end of this video and you haven't hit like on the video consider doing so and if you haven't subscribed especially consider subscribing i'd really appreciate it guys much love hope you enjoy the video and i will see you guys in the next one peace